when you want to limit the data that can be entered in certain columns of your table, you enforce some rules and that is done using constraints. Constraints make sure that the data that is entered in your tables is more reliable and accurate for you to work. Constraints can be both column level or table level. They can be specified while creating a table like this or later on by using alter table command. Let's take a look at some most commonly used constraints available in SQL. Not null ensures that a column cannot have a null value. Unique ensures that all values in a column are different. Primary key is a combination of a not null and unique. Uniquely identifies each row in a table. Foreign key uniquely identifies a record in another table. Check ensures that all values in a column satisfy a specific condition. Default sets a default value for a column when no value is given by the user. Index is used to create and retrieve data from the database very quickly. Now any constraint that you have defined can be dropped using the alter table command with the drop constraint option as shown. We'll see how to use these constraints in more detail in the solved problems. Meanwhile, I'll see you in the next video.